Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In today's video, we are talking about prioritizing work and specifically talking about tickets and a ticketing system that might be used at your company. So let's say you do help desk or you do some kind of desktop support, tech support for some company and you have a ticketing system where trouble tickets come through and you're supposed to work them to resolve issues that you know users submit. This is directly related to my article that is called Top 10 Hard Desk hard hard desk top 10 hard desktop support interview questions and answers there's a link at the end of the video if you want to read this but um, this is not the only video this is part of the series that I'm making and this is a number seven video so if you'd like to check out the other ones there will also be a playlist at the end and also uh, some links to a couple of other videos that were very cool to make all right so let's get to it this is from a question number seven one day you come into work and you find the major systems are down. However, you also see the ticketing system has 50 or more unassigned tickets. What would you prioritize and how would you go about dealing with this problem? So here's the thing. If you're being interviewed and somebody asks you this, they want to know what you find as a biggest priority and what you should do when it comes to production impact. So this is incredibly important. The way I would explain this would be in four different steps. Be first, second, third, last. So that's how I would explain it. The reason for that is so that the potential employer can realize that I, you know, that I know what I'm talking about, that I have the basic knowledge, not to sound egotistic or anything. It's just that I have basic and even general knowledge on how to deal with a situation where you have to prior prioritize your work. So first, I would ask which systems are down and how many users are impacted. This will determine which issue is to be worked first. Tickets would be the last priority. So here's the thing. If a large number of users is impacted by a system that is down, then that's definitely something you would prioritize. So think about it. Let's say there's a company with 1,000 people and system major system is down that means we have thousand people that need to be uh, you know they need to go back to work basically as soon as possible so this is why we need to prioritize this this is some of one of those common sense type of things but yet you know potential employer wants to know this and this is also good to know if you already are working help desk or some kind of desktop or tech support right it's definitely more people than 50 right and then, then after you're done with that, tickets would be the last priority. Second, if multiple system issues are related, then I would handle this issue on my own if possible, depending on what the issue is. If issues are not related, and in this case, I would recruit help from coworkers and possibly assign individually if manager is not present. So this is incredibly important. If users report that multiple systems are down, which is directly related to the question, then there is a correlation there. Chances are that all of these systems, if they went down at the same time, chances are that they are somehow related to either servers, or databases, or whatever it is that they all are, they, they all have relation to. So chances are you might want to handle this issue on your own to make it a more proactive uh, situation handling because it's all related to one thing so basically what would happen is you see that multiple systems are down right and then you realize you know especially if you have the experience working for the company chances are you will know right away okay yes um, okay w what's wrong here this website is down uh, this application is down and this other thing is down are they any way related then you if you if they you know if the answer is yes then you can say that okay just let me know which ones how many people are affected how many users are affected i should say and then i will report this issue to the people that have access to these systems meaning let's say database is down chances are you doing tech support at the location or help desk that you won't have access to the to this database for a specific system i mean there could be hundreds of systems that are used by a company you know what i mean so you might as well handle all of this 
or chances are you'll have a crisis bridge or well this is what we call it at my company but there is a bridge or a conference line that you would call and the uh, person on the other line would basically be the mediator and they would handle um, you know the the kind of logistics part of it as in you know they would ask you well how many systems are affected which ones and then you'd give them all this information how many people this and that and then they would say okay all right I'm gonna start the bridge and I'm going to start paging people meaning that he's gonna reach out to proper people that you may not know who they are if issues are not related in that case I would recruit help from co-workers means that if it's not related you cannot handle multiple issues especially if it's a big issue you know so you ask your coworker, hey can you help me out with this and chances are they will because you know hopefully you work in a, in a, at a cool place like I do <laughs> uh, anyways and possibly assign individually if manager is not present so you know chances are a manager would handle um, assigning of uh, this different uh, situational issues to other co-workers but if they aren't there it if, if, if it's a legit place and I, I mean I shouldn't say like that if it's a cool place to work at and then everybody is on equal terms equal expertise and this and that chances are they will help you and you can just ask them you know can you help me with this so it wouldn't necessarily be assigning individually because manager is not present but you would basically recruit them to help you out recruit their help to help you out deal with other issues because you can't possibly handle uh, multiple issues that are not related right I mean it's it's that that's what I would suggest especially if, if it's a huge issue because think about it think about it this way if multiple systems are down and they're not related how can you possibly acquire information that these uh, application owners or sys uh, database owners or s server owners how can you possibly give them the information um, to that for example let's say okay how many people are affected and you say um, I don't know a, a thousand okay give me some examples so you have to handle this you have to go to the users and then you would have to ask them okay uh, can you give me this information basically you have to get a lot of information for a certain system in order to troubleshoot this properly if they are not related you can't possibly work with two two different teams on two different issues efficiently third I would proceed to troubleshoot the issue and get as much information as possible before reaching out to any other support groups that manages specific aspects of systems affected so that kind of ties into what I was saying earlier you want to have all the information ready because they will ask you okay how many people which systems can you give me example of IP addresses which link they're using if it's a website well which application are you using which uh, version of the application are they using all of this information you have to have ready if you want it to go smoothly you know yes you can you, you can forget something you can forget to you know get which version of the system it's being used or you know whatever else that's okay as long as you have the majority of things ready that way we will mitigate the uh, production impact in this case support team uh, in this case support teamwork is essential to resolve major system issues that are not at immediate access to myself or desktop support team so yeah everything everything that I'm talking about here ties in to everything that I said previously support team is essential to resolve major system issues that are not at immediate access to myself or desktop support team you know after you reach out to all these people that support these different applications you have to have a good teamwork with them in order to resolve this properly lastly once issues with major systems are resolved and the bulk of users are back to work then I would concentrate on resolving tickets on a side so yeah I mean of course it goes without saying that during crisis issues all the management would be notified of progress and solution and root cause so this is you know very important once you come across an issue you would want to report the statuses or give the status updates to all the management um, including your own manager but the management of the people that users report to because they would want to know 
why do we have thousand people not working so you want to send them updates periodically usually this is usually done with just you know email you send a group email to all the management of the departments that are affected and maybe some of the users and um, that way everybody knows on which page you're at or which page you're on I should say so that way they know that you're working on it and usually every half hour you can send you know this is just going to depend on, on the place you work at and what your management what your manager requires but usually what I do is every half hour I send status updates that seems like a, a, a good time frame to do so so that way they know what's going on and then once it's all resolved um, you would provide a root cause to the management not necessarily the management of the users but to your boss and so that way your boss can follow up with these application owners and uh, work on you know making sure that this doesn't happen again and then we can concentrate on resolving tickets that are unassigned of course you know you, you just go back to work <laughs> and work these 50 plus tickets that's a lot of tickets if it's like just you to do good luck doing it all in one day but hey it's possible I don't know there might be some simple ones um, the most I've done I think was like 30 but that's because I had to physically uh, like go to people's desks and work with them like on one-on-one -on -one type of basis type of thing uh, but yeah I mean that's what basically do just go back to working tickets and then you know call it a day and you would of course prioritize those but I'm sure you have you would have some kind of system that helps you do so and you know this and that all right guys I hope you find this video useful if you'd like to check out my equipment that I use my computers and stuff like that there's a link in the description as well um, share with your buddies uh, see what they think of my teachings if you will I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting me in every way I see comments uh, more often now with great support and I really appreciate that all right guys have a good day there will be more so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button actually don't smash it because other people got to use it I, heard, I said <laughs> I saw this uh, joke uh, today uh, it said don't smash the button don't smash the like button because other people got to use it just click it <laughs> all right guys have a good one bye bye